Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Moore, and it's time for another SEL lesson. So today, we're going to talk about being assertive. Have you ever heard the word assertive? Hmm, I think you have from the learner song. But being assertive means you use your voice to talk and be a grown little first grader to use your words and ask for help or to say things that need to be said. So let's begin by building our brains. You've been practicing thinking and telling the class your ideas. Now you will learn a special way for telling your ideas to a partner. It's called think, turn, and tell. Watch as I show you how this looks. My teacher may ask a question, like a math problem, and she may ask me, what is two plus two? So here's how I do it. I think, what is two plus two? Two plus two is four. And I'm gonna say it quietly to myself. Two plus two is four, because I'm thinking in my mind. I'm gonna turn to my partner and then I'm going to tell them what I think the answer is. So Snail's going to be my partner. Snail, I think the answer is four. Did you see how Snail was listening to me? He's not talking. But now it's going to be his turn because he thought he's turned towards me and now he's going to tell me what his answer is. He's thinking turns. I think the answer is four two. Awesome. So now we just practice thinking, turning, and telling. This is something really great that you can use in the classroom. You have to be a good listener when it's your partner's turn to speak, and you have to be able to use your voice when it's your turn to speak. So it would be a great thing if you have someone at home, like your mom or your dad, that you could practice your think, turn, and tell. So if you're at home and have someone to practice with, how about you go practice? So now we will use our think, turn, and tell in our second step lesson for today. You'll get really good at it the more you use it. And I promise that your teacher will use this. So in our last lesson, you learned about a skill called self-talk. When we talk to ourselves to help us remember things. You can say things inside your head or in a whisper so you don't distract anyone. Or you're not distracted by other people. Thumbs up if you use self-talk this week. Awesome job. Well, now I have some friends who want to join us, and it's your favorite people. Are you ready for them to say hello? Ruff, 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 ruff. Shh, puppy. Oh, hey, puppy. Hey, snail. Hi. Ruff, 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 ruff. They're here to say hi to us, guys. Snail has a problem, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Snail, what's the matter? I left my lunch on the school bus. I can't go all day without lunch. What am I going to do? Focus, Snail. Ask the teacher what you should do. I'm afraid to. The teacher will think I wasn't paying attention. You didn't do it on purpose, Snail. The teacher is here to help you. You should just ask. You're right. I will ask the teacher. I will ask the teacher. All right. Cool, puppy and snail. We'll see you guys later. We're going to see another story about someone who may need some help. So this is Tiffany. On this side. <laughs> Tiffany is working on a writing assignment, but she is stuck. She needs help. 
the teacher is helping another student on the other side of the classroom, and Tiffany doesn't know what to do. So you can see the teacher back here in the background, and that teacher is helping another student. So Tiffany is feeling really sad and doesn't know what to do. Give me a thumbs up if you've ever felt that way before. I know I have when I don't understand something and someone who can help me is already helping someone else. It's really difficult. So I want you to think about some things Tiffany could do. Practice thinking, turning, and telling a partner. I know you might not have someone with you, but how about you practice that? So what is some things that Tiffany could do? I'm gonna think, I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna tell. I'll give you some ideas. Give me a thumbs up if you've already thought of these ideas. She could try one more time by herself. Or she could ask another student for help. Or she could wait until the teacher has finished and then ask for help. Make sure you follow these three different things if you don't know what to do. The teacher definitely wants to help you. She might just be helping another student when you need help as well, but she will definitely help you when she's done. So I have another question for you about Tiffany. Um, Snail is going to show us three ways Tiffany could ask for help. All right, so Snail's gonna show three ways that uh, Tiffany could ask for help. And I want you to be thinking about the way that Tiffany should ask for help because not all the ways Snail's gonna show us are good, okay? So here's the first one. <laughs> I'm stuck. I can't do this. Okay, that was the first way. Do you think that was a very good way to say that you can't do something or you're stuck or a good way to ask for help? Me neither. I don't think so. Ugh! I'm stuck! Help me with this! That was pretty angry. Do you think that would be a good way to ask for help? No, I don't think so either, Snail. Alright, how about this last way? This last way is called assertive. Tell me if you think this is a good way. Excuse me, teacher. I'm stuck. Can you please help me with this assignment? Hmm, that was assertive. Which way do you think was the best way for Tiffany to ask for help? Give me a one if you thought it was the first way. Give me a two if you think it was the second way. And give me a three if you think it was the third way. Yes, if you said the third way, then you are right. The respectful, calm way with Snail looking right at you, sitting up straight is the best way to ask for help. This kind of asking is called being assertive. Let's say that word together. One, two, three, assertive. Awesome, that's a big awesome word. So now you're gonna practice asking a grown up for help in an assertive way. So I'm going to give you some things that might happen where you might need to ask someone for help. And I want you to practice how you would ask this. After you practice, I'm going to show you how I would ask it. And we'll see if ours are kind of similar. So the first problem we have is you can't find your coat. So practice how you would ask someone for help. Here's what I would do. I'm going to sit up straight, I'm going to look at the person that I need help from, and then I'm going to say, excuse me, I can't find my coat. Do you think you can help me? Do you think they're going to help me now that I've asked that way? I think they are. That's called being assertive and using your words to ask for help. All right, here's another example of a way you might need help. You can't find your dinosaur book in your desk. Think about what you would do if you can't find your book. I'm going to sit up straight. I'm going to look at my teacher. 
and I'm going to go up to her and say, Excuse me, teacher. I can't find my dinosaur book in my desk. Do you think you can help me? And I bet your teacher's going to say yes to that because you're being assertive and using your words. Here's one more way you might need to ask for help. You don't understand the math work that you have to do. What are you going to do about that? So if you're at school, you might ask your teacher, but if you're at home, you might have to ask your parents. So here we go. Let's at, pretend we're at home and we don't understand our homework. I'm going to go up to my mom and I'm going to say, Excuse me, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever's helping you. I don't understand my math homework. Do you think you can help me? And I bet if you ask in that really nice, assertive way, they're going to help you. So today you practice think, turn, and tell. You also learn how to ask for help in an assertive way. This will really help you in the classroom and being a good listener and a good classmate. We're going to listen to the learner song and then we'll be done for today. Awesome job, guys. Focus, focus, listen, listen, use yourself, talk, be assertive, focus, focus, listen, listen, use yourself, talk, be assertive, focus, focus, listen, listen, use yourself, talk, be assertive, this is the way we all can learn, this is the way